Hi everyone, uh, my name is Michael Hill. I'm a neurologist and I work at the Foothills Hospital and the University of Calgary. And I'm also the medical director for the Strategic Clinical Network for Cardiovascular and Stroke. So what I wanted to do here today was just introduce the transition we're gonna make from using Altaplase, or IVTPA as it's commonly known, to Tenecteplase, another form of IVTPA for the treatment of acute ischemic stroke. Tenecteplase is uh, easier to use. Uh, it's given as a bolus dose, and that should make things like transporting patients around the province uh, into Calgary or Edmonton much easier. It'll make nursing care of patients much easier. That this is the result of a fantastic development, a major clinical trial, uh, which was published this past year. Uh, the trial was led from Alberta. Uh, the PI was Dr. Bijoy Menon uh, in Calgary, and Dr. Brian Buck was a key, played a key role. Uh, sites in Alberta participated in the trial and enrolled nearly half the patients, all from Alberta, including rural sites in Red Deer, in Medicine Hat, the rural hospital in Grey Nuns, as well Camrose. So this is something that's happening now. We're going to hear a couple of additional podcasts from the leaders of the trial on the data and why Tenecteplase is the better choice for treating acute stroke. And then we're going to have a podcast on how to prepare the drug uh, what the dosing is, and that's a key issue because the dose is different from the cardiac dose of this uh, of tenecteplase. And then we're going to hear about how this might affect the EMS and the transport systems around the province. So I'd encourage you to look at all three of those podcasts. All will be short and it will help us in the transition as we move towards the routine use of tenecteplase for acute ischemic stroke, November 1st, 2022.